friends and welcome to Bhula Mitte. Today I am going to tell you about the fuel injection systems in the engine. So if if you want to watch this video in Hindi, if you are comfortable in Hindi, अगर आप ये वीडियो हिंदी में देखना चाहते हैं, मैं इस वीडियो को थर्सडे को हिंदी में पब्लिश करूँगा, आप उस वीडियो को देख सकते हैं। और अगर आप इंग्लिश में कंफर्टेबल हैं तो प्लीज इस वीडियो को ऐसे देखते रहिए। So in this video I am going to tell you about the injection systems in the engine. There are two main categories of the injection system that is direct and indirect injection system. In direct in direct injection system the fuel injector is directly placed into the cylinder where the injection takes place where where the injection of the fuel just uh, takes place inside the cylinder directly uh, not in the inlet manifold not in the carburetor and anything else direct the fuel is directly injected into the cylinder so in petrol you may see wall guided uh, uh, there is wall guided and spray guided two types of uh, direct injection system in which the injector is placed in, inside the cylinder uh, and the piston is shaped such that it uh, pushes the it uh, it gives the path to the fuel that is entered into the cylinder so such that it mixes so that when it enters and when it strikes the piston it just uh, passes in, inside the and it just spread over inside the completely complete cylinder so that it mixes in spray guide there is a spray in which the sprayer or fuel injector is placed at the top of the uh, engine uh, at the top of the cylinder and the fuel is injected such uh, such like that and the fuel is sprayed uh, in the complete cylinder and then the uh, since the fuel is in atomized form so it mixes with the air very well in diesel in diesel engines the since the fuel injector is placed such that but the in diesel engine the fuel is injected at the last when the com, when the com, air is completely compressed so at that moment it requires a uh, very high pressure fuel injection system so at this moment when the fuel is uh, supplied into the cylinder the uh, piston is made such that such like that that uh, it uh, divides the fuel sprayed into it uh, and spread it over into the cylinder so that it mixes with the uh, compressed air it requires it requires this design so that the since the air is compressed and requires a lot of pressure so so that it mixes well it requires a shape like that in the piston the piston is shaped like that there is a groove in the piston uh, this is a cylindrical groove or hemispherical this shape uh, this this shape of the uh, groove is placed in the is made in the piston so that the fuel entered into the cylinder get a swirled, swirling, uh, swirling type of motion and such that when the swirling takes place in the cylinder uh, the fuel mixes with the air this is the wall for the inlet uh, of the air the main problem in this injection is only that it requires high pressure of the ignition system the, there are several advantages of the direct injection are uh, it can take it, it. It can intake even when the intake valve is closed. The main main advantage is that since uh, many times to increase the combustion because uh, uh, at the time when the combustion completes completed when the combustion is completed and the expansion is taking place and at that time to increase the performance of the engine when the piston is moving down in the cylinder uh, to towards TDC and combustion has taken place and the expansion of the gases uh, is uh, under under process so at that moment if you want extra performance extra power then you can enter much more fuel into the into the cylinder and uh, then give uh, and due to high pressure and temperature it will burn and give much more performance and much more power at that moment so it, it increases the combustion and power so and thus efficiency also of the engine spraying area can be adjusted uh, uh, there is a point the spraying area of this uh, can be adjusted by adjusting the, uh, this uh, injector since if the inje injector is pla placed slightly downward the area of the injection will increase and uh, thus the spray will, uh, will be completely over the cylinder so this is adjustable there yeah, this is another advantage of this that injection so in in petrol engines in indirect injection the injector is placed inside the carburetor you may say carburetor or the throttle body 
and uh, uh, the the injector may be placed in in the inlet manifold just before the cylinder or at the beginning of the inlet manifold so this is known as the mpfi system that is multipole fuel, multipole fuel injection system so if the injector is placed just above the just above the just inside the inlet manifold and uh, just above the cylinder so the mpfi or you may say spfi if the single injector is placed over here instead of four separate injector this is this will be spfi so this is the indirect in, in, in injection system in petrol engines so in indirect indirect injection system for diesel there is a loop pre present over air at the uh, at the cylinder head of the engine of the diesel engine so at the at this moment the fuel injector is placed in the, inside a loop over here and the, uh, this is the glow bulb over here which is which act which acts as a heater in this which which will heat up the fuel that is injected into the cylinder into the lobe the in fuel inject fuel injector injects the lobe injects the fuel inside the lobe first and inside the lobe there is a global which increases the temperature of the fuel uh, inside the global and uh, as the temperature increases the tendency ten tendency of the fuel uh, tendency of the fuel to burn increases as the tendency increases when uh, when the when the fuel comes out in the cylinder at high pressure since the in, in diesel the injection injection takes place uh, when the air is completely compressed so when the pressure is very high and temperature is very high and the temperature of fuel is also high then the ignition or combustion of the fuel takes place very easily and very much efficiently so let so the combustion is better in the indirect injection of the diesel since the fuel is injected in the lobe not in the uh, not directly into the cylinder so since the pressure inside so it requires less pressure in comparison with this direct injection in the diesel engine so this is another advantage of this indirect injection in the diesel engine this will also increase the efficiency and performance since the combustion takes place very much efficiently so i think that's all for the fuel injection systems uh, if you if you have any doubt any query you can ask me in the comment section if you like this video please share it to share it to your friends so that i can connect them uh, connect with them also and if you didn't subscribe to my channel please please go and subscribe to my channel please and thanks a lot for watching my video keep watching keep supporting thanks a lot guys